Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an interesting challenge that many Java developers encounter. Our viewer asks, how can I split a list into two lists based on a predicate while also limiting the number of elements that go into the true part? Let's break down the question. Imagine you have a list of integers from one to 10 and you want to separate this list into even and odd numbers. But here's the twist. You only want the first three even numbers in the true part. This is where things get tricky, as Java 8's built-in collectors don't support this kind of limitation. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. In this video, we will learn how to split a list into two parts based on a predicate, while also limiting the number of elements in the true part. Let's start with our example list. We want to create a map where the true part contains the first three even numbers and the false part contains all other numbers. The Java 8 Streams API provides a collector called collectors.partitioningby, but it does not support limits. To achieve this, we can implement our own method called partitioning by with limit. This method will take a predicate a source list, and a limit as parameters. Inside the method, we will create a multi-valued map to store our results. We will iterate through the source list, applying the predicate and respecting the limit for the true part. Finally, we will return the result map containing both the true and false parts. This implementation allows us to effectively partition the list with a limit on the true elements. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The task of partitioning with a limit requires a stateful predicate, making it tricky with streams. A simple loop can be used to achieve this. Here's a basic implementation. It iterates through the list, applying the predicate and managing the limit. For a slight performance boost, you can use an iterator to avoid rechecking the limit after reaching it. Alternatively, you can leverage Java 8 features to streamline the process using a more functional approach. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this example, we have a list of integers from 1 to 10. The user demonstrates how to group these numbers based on a condition using Java streams. The grouping condition checks if a number is even and limits the count of even numbers to 3. This is done using a custom function. The output shows two groups, one for numbers that meet the condition and another for those that don't. The result is a map with true and false keys.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To partition a list with a limit, you can use the partitioning by collector along with a custom predicate. This predicate checks if an element meets a condition and limits the number of elements that pass. The custom predicate, called with limit, takes a condition and a limit. It uses an atomic integer to count how many elements have passed the test, ensuring it stops after reaching the limit. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If you did guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.